Hey there, this is Della Rucker of the Wise Economy Workshop and author of The Local Economy Revolution, What's Changed and How You Can Help. And this is a special second Wise Economy radio, er, television number seven because not only can I not remember what I'm doing, but I just recorded one with no sound. Now, how is that for genius? So the moral of the story is if you for some reason decide to tune into Wise Economy TV and you don't see this thing or you don't hear my voice, chances are something's wrong. So to the people who were watching the last one and pointed out in the comments, um, I can't hear her, thank you. Because since you couldn't hear me, I went, oh yeah, that whole you know microphone thing. Yeesh. So I apologize, and uh, I'll tell you the little stories I had for today again. First thing I was I mentioned is, as just as a heads up, that my son, who I refer to in the book, my younger son, um, who I refer to in the local economy revolution, what's changed and how you can help, I refer to him as the divergent creative kid um, of the two of them. He's homesick today, so if since I can't edit these once they're running, if he happens to stick his head in, now you know why I've got a kid home mid-afternoon. He's just got a cold. He's been running a little bit of a fever, um, you know, a little bacterial something. He's he's getting better, but he needed another day to kind of be home and get recuperated. Just wanted to share with you. We've had some great early responses to the new book from Wise Full Press called Why This Work Matters, Wisdom from the People Who Are Making Communities Better. And that book has been such a delight to put out and such, such a source of encouragement already for so many people. It's really been an honor for me to be able to share that. Uh, initial responses are that people are loving it, as I hoped, that they're finding it encouraging, as I really hoped. and I think that if you haven't seen that book yet, I think you'll find it encouraging as well. It's available for iTunes, for iBook, for Nook, for Kindle, and even in print. And you can find all of those at whythisworkmattersbook.com. The whythisworkmattersbook.com. And just to just to uh, to let you know, if you're looking at the print version, I'll show you this next week, but it's very little. It's about five inches tall, six inches tall, somewhere in that ballpark. Nice little book, easy to put in a pocket, in a purse, in a bottom desk drawer to be able to pull out whenever you feel like you need a little extra encouragement and you need to kind of remember a little bit about why the work you're doing matters. So I hope you'll take a look at that book and I hope that you'll find it encouraging. I know the authors, the 11 authors who contributed to, to it and whose voices you hear in the book have been just thrilled with the response and again that encouragement that they feel like they've been able to give through this publication. With, with regard to the local economy revolution, we slacked off for a little while on posting to the good ideas file, but we've been much more diligent about that lately, so you'll find a long stream of new good ideas at localeconomyrevolutionbook.com. So if you haven't checked those out, the, the good ideas file is a blog that gives sort of brief overviews and links to articles on great work, great insights, great commentary coming from all over the world. So. If you haven't seen those, take a look at them. Go to localeconomyrevolutionbook.com. Again, localeconomyrevolutionbook.com. And just put in the search function, good ideas. And then you'll get the whole collection of the good ideas file. And I think you'll find them fascinating. And hopefully you find a few good ideas that you can put to work in your town as well. Another thing that you'll find at the local economy revolution book.com is audiobooks, mini audiobooks, which are mini um, five to ten minute recordings that we've been doing, putting up a new one roughly once a week, so that people who kind of want to get a taste of the book, maybe are busy, you know, it's hard to find time to read a book sometimes anymore. It's a way to give you a little bit of a taste. There's close to an hour's worth on there now, so 
it might be a good way for you to start nosing around and see what's happening. If you're on LinkedIn, there's also been a, been a great conversation that's been going on on the Planners Web Planning Commissioner's Journal LinkedIn group. The Planners Web is a, is a publication, it's an online publication for people who work with planning commissions, whether they're staff or they're citizen members, and it's information, it's resources, it's, it's uh, help for people who are doing that very frontline work in communities. Wayne Senville, who is the publisher of the, of the book, or the publisher of Planner's Web, 